Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today we're switching gears. We're eating healthy today. <laughs> Chicken cheesesteaks on the Traeger Flat Rock Griddle. You guys stay tuned. All right, so like I said, we're switching gears. We use chicken today, have all kinds of goodies. It's just a great way to alternate your protein source, right? We're not cutting calories, we're not cutting carbs, we're doing it all the way. The difference is you can still make a fantastic cheese steak and you can use chicken. In the Navy, we did this often when you started off as a runt, a little uh, um, galley style cook. We actually cheated and used chicken fajita pre seasoned meat. It would actually make our cheesesteaks out of that. But the more you moved up the ladder to the chief's mess, the wardroom, the captain's cook, all that stuff, the more the cheesesteaks got serious and the more you stayed away from that and tried to do your own stuff. And that's how people got to know you going through the channel and all that. Even though you're supposed to stay by the recipe cards, we cheated a little bit. That's how it is. It's all competitive. So it brings back little memories. I'm excited to do it. I think we've got a great sauce for you. We're going to mimic that. Is it called Texas Petal? Blooming onion sauce, somewhere like that. Where it's got like horseradish, petal. mayonnaise. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely fantastic with chicken. So let me show you the ingredients that we got. I got my chicken still in the freezer right now because just like when you cut a fresh cheesesteak or a ribeye, it's best to have it in the freezer just for, you know, maybe 30, 45 minutes. And it helps you slice without your chicken getting too um, stringy. All right, get back to the list of ingredients. We just got a good hoagie roll right here. It's got that cornmeal crust on the bottom. We kind of like them. It says cross between this and those fresh little hoagie buns that our local grocery store has. They're both phenomenal. We just go back and forth. Got some bell peppers, some onions, and of course, I love my cherry style peppers, okay? Sweet peppers. In the sauce, we're doing horseradish, garlic, mayonnaise, uh, maybe a little mustard, we're gonna taste it, and then if we need to add it, we'll add it. Got some Worcestershire sauce and some sriracha, okay? Very simple ingredients. When we go inside the chicken today, we're doing uh, Cavender's salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Oh, you didn't bring out the cheese. You can't have a cheesesteak without cheese. And lastly, with the cheese choice today, we got pepper jack and smoked Gouda. I absolutely love smoked Gouda. So the good thing about cheesesteak, you can make any way you want to. There shouldn't be really any uh, people harassing you about how you make your cheesesteak. Just don't call it a Philly. Good Lord of mercy, the Philly police will come. All right, our chicken's still in the freezer. We got our griddle heating up, so we're gonna make our sauce right now. Four tablespoons of mayonnaise, two teaspoons of horseradish, teaspoon of sriracha, about a teaspoon and a half of garlic, teaspoon of wash your sister sauce, just a little fresh pepper, one teaspoon of sugar. All right, once we've tasted it and adjusted, it and adjusted what we needed to, we're just gonna let this sauce sit to the side. Remember, everything we make is a personal preference. It might be too spicy. You might want flavor, you might want more flavor, you might want more sugar. So just please just taste as you go and make the sauce the way you like it. It's got a good kick to it. You can taste the sriracha and the horseradish. I think it's gonna be perfect for that chicken. The sauce is made. Now we're just gonna prep our vegetables to get those set to the side. All right, we got our vegetable prepared. Just take the little tips off a little bit. And then basically I'm just gonna open up this sandwich about three quarters of the way. You don't want it to go all the way, so just find a good spot. Hollow some of that bread out. Make more room for filling. This is what you call low carb right here. <laughs> Take that semi-frozen chicken breast. That's gonna help you slice it. Let me show you really quick. I actually like to slice my chicken breast this way. I mean, cut it in half, just break it down to small portions, and then you're just gonna thinly slice it. All right, we got all of our chicken sliced up, and I'm just gonna lightly season it with some of my favorite seasonings, obviously, just a little garlic powder fresh cracked pepper and i haven't used this in a while it's one of my favorite all two all purpose seasonings got a little greek in it a little oregano a little greek in it just good good balance good flavor that's cavenders yep we like it so not too much you're not trying to overpower the chicken flavor let's keep some of it all right we're ready so it's going to happen extremely fast 
We got our peppers done. We got our bread done. Our griddle's on. Let's rock and roll. All right, just a little avocado oil. Start our vegetables off first. To the vegetables, we're gonna mirror those uh, flavors. A little Greek, garlic, and black pepper. I'm gonna dry toast our buns, just like that. I'm gonna throw a little butter and oil down. All right, once your chicken's done, I'm gonna take it off the heat so we can keep our chicken juicy, okay? The last thing you wanna do is keep your chicken on their griddle while you're trying to figure out how much vegetables you need, how to dress your bun and all that stuff, right? So to create a juicy chicken sandwich, go ahead and just take it off the heat, let it rest. We can put it back on there when we're confident in what we're doing, the portion size and all that. All right. Just eyeball a little bit of what you think you're going to need. Remember, try to fight that urge of overstuffing your overstuffing your sandwich. Golly, it smells good. It smells like the fair. See that juice right there? All that juice right there would have been absorbed or left on the griddle if you didn't let your chicken rest. Heck, you could use that a little bit as flavor if you wanted to. Then let that moisture right there be the steam that does your uh, cheese, okay? So just a quick mix. All right, we got our smoked Gouda, our pepper jack cheese. Make it as cheesy as you want. I do, I do feel like a little cheese today. I do feel like a little cheese. There we go. I'm gonna top that cheese with those sweet peppers. Let that cheese melt while that cheese is melting. So we've already toasted our bread. All right, right at the last second, I'm just gonna put that sauce bread right over the, the chicken to let that bun steam a little bit. All right, just for giggles, you guys know that you should always let your sandwich rest. So I bought these little deli papers, wrapping up just like a dang bodega, just like a sandwich shop. And we'll let that bad boy rest while I do the other one. Whew. All right. Mmm, that looks good. Oh yeah. Good call on the deli paper. You know it's good when the deli paper sticks to the sandwich. Mmm. <laughs> okay, where's my bite? <laughs> I, I knew that one was gonna be good. The dog wants some too. <laughs> it's hot, but holy cow. Is it, am I gonna burn myself? It'll be worth it. <laughs> oh no. Oh ma'am. That's a winner, honey. You get absolutely everything. You get the tenderness of the chicken. The vegetables, Moist. the vegetables are seasoned. The bread holds it, the sauce is there, you get the sriracha, you get the, the sauce is good. It's all spicy. So you might wanna do a little bit less sriracha and horseradish. And we put those sweet peppers on there too. Oh yeah. 
So that's got the vinegar tang. I'm gonna tell you what. That. For a dang, I, holy. Ah, Better than a cheesesteak, maybe? Like an actual cheesesteak with beef? <laughs> That's, mm. that's good. If I had better rolls, it's not the best roll for it. We know, we know, but we can't get the best rolls for it. That is absolutely fantastic. Matter of fact, that has jumped the list of a lot of things we've made. That's very good. <laughs> that is very good. All right, guys, there you go. That's a version of the cheesesteak with chicken, switching things up a little bit. I do not think you're gonna be disappointed on this one. Matter of fact, I encourage you to make it. Comment below, let us know what you think. What kind of substitutes would you got? I know some people add mushrooms sometimes. Uh, Matt, thank you very much for the suggestion for the Greek, the oregano. Um, this is a home run. This is an absolute home run. Guys, if you're interested, we have a join button down below with the membership program. We thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so. Check out the Griddle Group on Facebook because we talk about griddles where people say, hey, I've got all this chicken, what to do with it? I'm telling you, do this with it because it's going to be fantastic. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Peace. Mm. Ooh, that's got the smoke good. I told you the cheese mm. choice was good. Mmm. That is fantastic. Yeah, that's good.